Okay, I wasn't actually planning on making another video on Elgato stuff this week. I had something else planned and then they decided to launch the Elgato Stream Deck 7.0 update, which is in my mind one of the biggest game changers for people who love the Stream Deck and everything that comes with it. This video is going to be a little bit more informal than my usual ones. I just felt like it's an update. I just want to talk about it and share it because a lot of people have been interested in what has been added in this update when I've spoken about it in my previous videos. So let's go ahead and jump in. So these are the official release notes that come with it and I'm going to break it down really quickly. We've got the Virtual Stream Deck, which was in beta. It's now officially released. We've got Stream Deck Logic, which is one of the coolest updates that people have been begging for for such a long time, myself included, and it's finally here. We'll get into that in a second. There's a new weather plugin and some updates to pre-existing actions. I think they are. Maybe this one's a new one. I don't know if they've they've just updated it, but let's, let's get into it. I'll show you what it's all about. So first things first, we do have the Virtual Stream Deck. Now, now, I have made an entire video on this when it was in beta. Everything in that video still applies. So I'm not going to be spending too much time talking about how to set it up and things like that in this video, but it is a huge deal. And I'm actually working on a video where I can use the virtual stream deck to automate things. I can run stream deck actions at like a specific time of day. It's a really cool concept. It's still a bit of a work in progress. That video should be coming out at some point soon. Stay tuned for it. For those of you who aren't familiar with what a virtual stream deck is, if I tap this button right here, you can see that I now have a huge list of uh, buttons and actions inside of the Stream Deck on my desktop. And this can be toggled through a hotkey. It can be turned on or off through a dedicated Stream Deck button on a physical Stream Deck or even the mobile Stream Deck app. And like I said, the idea of using this with automations is what really intrigues me. And you can add multiple virtual Stream Decks. So you're not just limited to this one right here. You can add as many as you would like. The cool thing with this, if we go ahead and select the virtual Stream Deck, if you want to set one up by the way you just tap this button right here where it says add a virtual device and you'll be able to create your own but what i wanted to show you is the virtual stream deck you can actually customize how it looks and how many buttons you have so although this is an eight by eight grid you can turn it to a three by eight if that's something you wanted to do let's say you wanted to go back and turn it eight by eight again you don't lose all the buttons and the layout and the functionality that you had before it retains all that information which i think is really really cool you can also change the customization like the key size the opacity the background color hiding unused keys so if we do that you can now see that you have this really cool little grid thing which a lot of people really like that i just like big chunky boys on my desktop and yes this works exactly like a normal stream deck you can go ahead and add any functionality obs lights microphones anything at all to the virtual stream deck and summon those actions with ease okay next thing i want to talk about is this little guy right here this is key logic and it is something people have been asking for for such a long period of time to the point where I actually made a video showcasing how to get some of this functionality in a weird workaround way. It was kind of sketchy, really annoying to set up if you're not familiar with like coding and stuff like we don't need to worry about that anymore. Elgato have just added this functionality easily for everybody. So the way buttons traditionally worked on a Stream Deck is you get this, you drag it over, and then you can apply an action, right? That's that's how it's always worked. No longer are you limited to one single functionality per key. So if we go ahead and delete this, if you go up to multi-action and look for key logic, which is this little guy right here, you have to add this one first, click this guy, drag it over, and you're now presented with this little window where you can single press a key, you can double press it, or you can hold the key for different actions. So just as an example, let's go ahead and open up a website action. If I double tap the key, it's going to open my store where you can get loads of video editing presets and access to a bunch of free tools for content creators like the Stream Deck Icon Maker. And then if we hold that same key, we can go ahead and open Elgato's website. Now, if we back out of here, I'm going to tap the button once and it's going to open Google. If I double tap it quite quickly, it's going to open my store. And if I hold the button down, it's going to open Elgato's website just like that. Now, I think the average user is going to look at this and be like, oh, cool more buttons. You're not wrong because now one button is going to take the place of three actions, which is insane. I love that. But also my mind is going to like, okay, I can now record in OBS. I can stream in OBS and capture a replay buffer with one key. I can mute my microphone, add a voice effect and play a sound effect 
with one key. Do you see why I'm excited for this? So there we go. That is something I am super excited for. I'll let your imagination run wild with this one. It's going to be fun though. And I'm so excited to change all these things around. Okay, next thing that they've added is this little guy right here. It is a weather plugin made by Elgato officially. And you can just drag it over and it automatically detects your location, the temperature for that location in Celsius or in Fahrenheit. And of course, you can change the location if that's something you want to do. Tapping it, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but it actually displays the high the lows and the temperature right now. There's also this little guy right here, which is a forecast one. Now we can zoom into that and you can see it shows the temperature for tomorrow and the day after as well. So you can get a rough idea and tapping that does the same thing with the highs and the lows like so. It's worth noting that I don't think this actually comes with the 7.0 update. So you may have to tap this little guy right here go up to the search bar, type in weather, and then this one right here is the official one by Elgato. If you go ahead and tap that, open in Stream Deck, it will automatically add that plugin and you can add it to whatever. And I gotta say, the design for this is really, really pretty. I'm not normally like a weather app kind of guy, but I do appreciate having that on my Stream Deck Neo, which is like my little hub. Got all my folders and my daily actions and lists and stuff. It just looks cool. So I have my time and my weather just one glance away and then finally there are two new updates so if we go ahead and open yeah okay so this one's its own action the original open one right here you used to have to go in and select a file so let's say we want to open chrome for instance we would have to try and find it in the windows start menu thing or go into my PC and then it, it's just it was kind of a pain to do it was doable but it was a pain so now rather than going through that whole process we can drag this open application button and select from any application on your device and the coolest thing is it isn't limited to applications specifically that you have downloaded you can also open up Windows applications so if we go ahead and do this we can search for an app so we could do like OBS that's normal that's common functionality but also Windows apps which were a pain to launch before even something like the minecraft launcher you can open that now with a tap of a button and of course you can control the long press action and you can even bring it to the front if it's already running the bring to the front functionality is actually kind of underrated because you could tie that in with automation let's say you got like a google chrome window and you're doing some kind of automation but the window isn't open and focused that's a pain to do sometimes so you could focus the window through I like that. In addition to the open application function, we also have an update for the hotkey functionality. So if we grab that, drag it over. Previously, you could just do something like uh, Control Shift A, and then it would press that hotkey whenever you tap the hockey button that's great but they have also added in a bunch of presets so we can now do things like screenshots snip and sketch maximize windows snap to left snap to right emoji picker things like that i love this and i would also love to see it expanded because there are shortcuts depending on your variation of windows or even mac things like windows and h which opens up your dictation window so we could just go ahead open up notepad windows and h turn this on and then as I start talking it's automatically going to write what I'm saying this is a function that is built into Windows and being able to summon this with a Stream Deck action I think it'd be really cool rather than like needing to memorize the hotkey for people who don't even know this exists and yes it does update it just takes a little while to process everything <laughs> another little functionality would be Windows and D which automatically hides every application that you have on Windows which could have some useful mischievous folk out there. And I think that is pretty much it for all the new updates. There's obviously bug fixes and things alongside that. But uh, these two right here, the Virtual Stream Deck being added officially rather than in beta and the multi-touch functionality, whatever you want to call it, the key logic, that's huge. And I think people are going to love this and really make good use out of it. But there we go. Just a quick little update, kind of informal, minimal editing. I just wanted to make sure that I shared some awareness of this. Again, I wasn't planning on making another Elgato video this week but the video that I made showcasing the virtual stream deck people seem to really enjoy that and now it's officially out and the key logic one I've actually made a video on that as well and people were really interested in it it's one of my top performing videos in the channel and now it's officially supported in app so for anybody who wanted that functionality 
you've got it. But anyway, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this, both on Elgato. I also do videos on video editing, AI, software, tech, automation, productivity, all that kind of stuff. We're just one big bundle of fun here. And if you haven't already, check out my store where I've created over 30 tools for content creators to use absolutely for free. And obviously, thank you to Elgato for constantly innovating in terms of hardware and software. Anyway, I love your faces. You're amazing and beautiful. And I'll catch you in the next one.